So full year results from Plastics Capital showed, as expected, a, a good year of growth, uh, nearly 30% revenue growth, 6% earnings growth. So that's bang in line with expectations. And it's important to remember, it's been a year where there's been a lot going on. Uh, three major acquisitions or minority investments. Um, there's been a, a significant upstep in the organic growth and new initiatives to really capture all of that. And there's been the remedial action they've been taking at the Palagan unit. Um, so all reflected in the numbers, but with all of that going on, I think it's very reassuring to see it ends up bang in line with the guidance. There has been a big shift in emphasis um, towards uh, more growth orientation that's exploiting a lot of opportunities that have come up in the last sort of 12 to 18 months. And there's details in the release, in the earnings release, about the investment plan. Um, they'd already given us quite a bit of detail about it, but a lot more granularity now. A million of new investments for the new projects that they've talked about, one and a half million of capex for uh, general capacity expansion, some working capital investment as well. It's all in line with the headline numbers as before, but we get a lot more detail where the money's going. It's across all four business units. Um, and then that supports, of course, the pipeline of growth, and they've given us a number for that as well. The pipeline has expanded by about 60% in the last two years. Um, and that's a pipeline means work that's been signed, but which is not yet generating revenue. So that pipeline's really expanded. And yet, in spite of all this, and in spite of all the investment to support that, it looks like we will end uh, the f full year 18, will end at about 1.6 times net debt to EBITDA. So that's a, a fairly comfortable debt ratio. They've done the capital raising, of course, to help that. Um, but it shows you everything is kind of nicely financed and the plan is all now moving ahead. Um, there was a comment about uh, the very start of the current trading year. The company has said it was marginally slower start than expectations, but far too early to read anything into it. Um, I spoke to the company and you know we've done our own sort of modeling. Um, I think it's very much still expected to be a solid year of earnings growth. I don't think it's really a, a downgrade at all. It's very much a small comment at the margin. So, so no, I don't think I would really call it a cautious report at all, no. Where we are today, the shares are on a nine and a half times PE. Uh, they've delivered 6% earnings growth in the year just gone, and it looks like the year ahead is a similar level of earnings growth. So you might say that's a little bit cheap at nine and a half times PE. Someone would say, some might say it's about right, but I think it's missing a big point. That is the pipeline of work, which is currently incurring cost, but which is not really falling into the revenue and profit numbers yet. Um, and that's all out there in the next two or three years. And also don't forget, you've got the FX benefit when the hedges expire this year, the end of this current just year started, then the hedges expire and then you start to get FX benefit as well. So I think we're actually in a position, not just for a couple of years of decent growth, but actually for several years ahead, there's a very solid foundation for growth, probably even accelerating growth. And then that nine and a half times P starts to look pretty interesting, I think.